Indoor growers often use a carbon filter linked to an extraction fan to clean and purify the air exiting their gardens, primarily to get rid of any odors. A scrubber setup is different. Sure, you're using the same equipment, a carbon filter, and an inline extraction fan. The only difference? <laughs> no ducting. Your extraction fan pulls your grow room's air through the carbon bed, and the resulting air is scrubbed or cleaned, but it's simply recirculated within your grow room rather than being extracted away. Why do this? Because we want very, very clean air in our grow rooms. That's why dust more. Mold spores and other particulates are effectively trapped and isolated by the carbon filter, and what's more, volatile organic compounds, aka VOCs or smells to the rest of us, are adsorbed too. This dramatically reduces the load on the carbon filter used in your extraction, lengthening its overall working life and distributing your odor eggs across several baskets. <laughs> What's the best place for a scrubber, Everest? Well, it's the same as your carbon filter, up high by the ceiling in your grow room. But if you don't have room, just put it on the floor and blow the air upwards. As long as you have good overall air movement in your garden, it'll still do a great job. In fact, if you're supplementing carbon dioxide into your grow room, there's a good argument for placing your scrubber on the floor, blowing air upwards, as this will help to diffuse heavier carbon dioxide within your grow room and stop it from settling at floor level. How big a carbon filter and fan do you need? Well, consider this. A modestly sized 6-inch hyperfan on medium speed pulling air through a 6-inch fresh filter or fresh skinny filter will easily scrub a room with an air volume of 1,000 cubic feet. That's a 10 by 13 foot room with 8 or 9 foot ceilings. For a general sizing rule of thumb, take the volume of your grow room in cubic feet and look for a fan and filter combination that shifts between a quarter or a third of this volume. So for a 1,000 cubic foot room, that's between 250 and 333 CFMs for your scrubber. You should have your scrubber running 24-7 and just be aware that no carbon filter is effective if relative humidity levels should reach 80% or more. Don't worry about your electricity bill. As long as you're using something efficient like a hyperfan, then, in the previous example, you'd only be adding about 5 cents per day to your bill, based on 10 cents per kilowatt hour. Another thing, it's important to use a high quality carbon filter. I definitely recommend checking out Fresh, as their Mesopore Australian Carbon is highly effective and long lasting. To summarize, here are the key advantages of a carbon scrubber. You will not only more effectively remove airborne dust and mold spores, but also reduce airborne bacterial counts from 10,000 ppms to around 30 ppms in your grow room. If you're serious about clean produce, you absolutely need a carbon scrubber in your life. Second, a scrubber reduces the VOC load on your main filter. It reduces the dust load too, increasing the time between cleaning pre-filters, the white fabric outer jacket, and increasing the ultimate working life of your main carbon filter. You might well be surprised at just how much dust is filtered over the course of a growing cycle. Remember, all that dust has the potential to get stuck in your crop, especially if it's resinous and can potentially give fungal spores a base to colonize. Dust typically contains a lot of dead skin cells from your hard-working hands. There's also fibers from your clothes, floor dust, concrete dust, dead bug bodies, insecticides, dried spilled chemicals, dried spilled organic nutrient mixes. The list goes on and on, my friend. So once again, if super pure produce is your goal, you need to be scrubbing your grow room's air. The same goes if you're growing in a sealed, air-conditioned room using supplemental CO2. One final point, ethylene. It's a gas produced by many higher plants that stimulates ripening and death of leaves. It's also effectively removed by a good quality carbon filter. There is a growing body of evidence which suggests that by removing ethylene from the growing environment during the last weeks of flowering, the ripening period is extended leading to increased yields. Just something to put into your thinking pipe, amigos. Okay, let me know if you found this useful or not. Questions and comments below. As always, if you're not subscribed to my channel, then please hit that red button as it blows away the mists of melancholy in my life and replaces it with fruity wafts of joy instead. And I need those fruity wafts as much as the next man. Thanks for watching. This is a super well scrubbed Everest enjoying the purest produce imaginable. Adios amigos.